be like a grassy area. Oh, who are you? The bard in the woods. I can protect you from the desert, but you need to protect me first by building me a house. Okay. Oh, who are you? The balloon and mucus. Oh, it looks like we got like some copper or something going on here. And we got two little tools here. Oh, it looks like we got a chest over here as well. Yo, 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 everybody, what's going on? It's Lodi's here back with a new game on the channel called Tinker Lands. It's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. It's like a Terraria survival-based kind of game, but it's a top-down version of Terraria, which is pretty freaking sweet. Um, but without further ado, if you guys do end up enjoying, make sure you just tap that like button down below. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And if you guys do end up enjoying this, you guys can wishlist it on Steam or just go and pick it up. Um, but without further ado, let's jump right on into this and check it out. So you got normal, hard, um, enemies have increased HP, damage, and are smarter, lose 50% money on death, drop rates increased. Okay, interesting. Uh, we'll just start off with normal, though. Um, just to get the hang of it, see how things go, and see what it is all about. Looks like we spawned on this little island here. You are awake. Uh, where am I? How are you feeling? Can you move with Wazda? Yeah. Uh, do you think there's anything left from the ship? Um, tab for inventory. Okay, cool. One, two, three, four. Yep. See how it's like a top-down version? Um, you do go around and you can, I believe, pick stuff up and whatnot. But, um, yeah, I can move around. Oh, here we go. Um, loot all. Very nice. Looks like we got an axe, pickaxe. Looks like we got a weapon of some sort some torches and then some food nice um looks like it doesn't really matter it's still the same pick up the wood i'm sure we're gonna need it i think i want to actually get all of this um it doesn't look like we have an energy bar anywhere or anything like that. Let's actually walk over here and see what this quest giver has for us. Alright, let's see. Looks like we are stranded here and the captain is missing. Could you please explore the island and find the captain? Here, I found this map around here. It might be more useful. Okay, so we got a map up here. Press M. Oh, map's actually pretty huge. Uh, craft a working table, craft a pickaxe, an axe, create a house for the guide. Find the bard in the woods, get protection for the desert, get protection for the snow, discover the cave, find and save the captain. Um, I believe this is a demo, um, if I remember correctly. Um, it might be an early access, I don't remember. I can pull up Steam here in a second and uh, double check for y'all and see what it's all about. Um, but it is, it's pretty, pretty interesting. Um, let's see. Yeah, looks like it is. It looks like you pick it up, and it's free for the moment. Um, and yes, you can add it to your wish list. Um, there are Steam achievements with it, and yeah, it's a shipwreck adventure and a free prologue, immersing it you into the vast world of Tinkerlands. Um, uncover the story of the first survivors of on these uh, mystical islands. Explore the beneath archipelago. Travel. Or craft essential tools, build your settlement, and strive to survive. Open world, um, like I said, similar to um, what you call it, similar to uh, um, Terraria in a way. And you guys will see that it's similar to Terraria based on the um, uh, the like base building because you like you build the. You build the base to have like your um, the people you meet come to it, come to your uh, basically to move in with you. So too too low. Okay, let's get some stone going here. Oh well, who are you? That looks like maybe a traveling merchant of some sort. 
Be my guest, I always get the most luxury items from all across the world. Okay. Oh, and it has like, um... Like, um, add-ons, it looks like, for your weapons, like uh, Diablo, kind of, in a way. Mind track, melee weapon, three crit chance, average speed, bow, four crit chance. Okay, cool. Accessories and whatnot. Okay, very interesting, very interesting. I do think I want to grab all of this. It looks like we have our HP up top there as well. If we press V, it looks like we got all of our community members down here. So we got the guide. Minimum nine tiles, light source surrounded by walls. Okay. The merchant, the blacksmith. Um, C. This looks like how we can craft. So I guess we need string, which we need fiber. Not quite sure how we get fiber yet. Maybe we get it from the tree. We'll see. You can also click and hold, and it looks like you'll mine your way through there. Yeah, that, that's how it looks like we got fiber. Okay, cool. Not bad. Get more stone since we don't have a lot of that. Oh, we get coal from it as well. Nice. Okay. Not bad. Okay. Is there a range? Uh, kind of, but not really. Looks like it's about a, a, a tile away you can mine from. Okay. Okay. Get all this. It just looks like it's getting dark. See how dark it actually gets. Lots of stuff there. There is no durability on tools, which is very nice. Definitely like to see that. Okay. Not bad. We'll grab this tree up here. Just to try and get some more fiber going. Or I guess more leaves. Um, what do we got here? Copper, maybe? Oh, coral. So we got some torches here. A shell. Okay, a bunch of shells around, not too bad. Cool. Um, it does look like there's also bushes that you can use to get fiber from. Or leaves, I guess. Which is nice. Um, we haven't explored much of the map. It's a traveling merchant. And if you remember, looking at the map, the map is huge, by the way. The map is pretty big. Looks like there's like a firefly or something over there. Okay. How's the combat in this, I guess? It's the real question. Okay. Oh, we got doubloon from it. All right. You can't really walk through trees, which is a bit of a bummer. Like some games, like they like it just like hits you. It's like nope, no moving here. Um, I sort of want to make my way down over here into like a grassy area. Oh, who are you? The bard in the woods. I can protect you from the desert, but you need to protect me first by building me a house. Okay. Oh, who are you? Dabloon and mucus. Oh, it looks like we got like some copper or something going on here. And we got two little tools here. Oh, it looks like we got a chest over here as well. Lots of fiber around too. Let's see, what do we got here? Um, rusty armor, MP potion, leather, mucus, 20 doubloons. Okay, not bad. I'll take all that. Okay, just mine all that up. Get all this fiber. Make some, make, be able to make some ropes. Okay, so that's the bard. What are you? Like a special flower of some sort. Okay. Looks like we got... Oh, a mana flower. Interesting. I wonder what that's used for. Maybe make a mana potion or something? Okay. I think I want to build somewhere down here. Oh, it does look like if you're on like a dirt path, which is like a road, I'm assuming. 
you get some uh, a little bit higher of a movement speed, which is pretty nice. Okay, cool. Um, ooh, what are you? This looks like maybe a health flower of some sort. Yeah, life flower. Okay. Not bad. Um, I think I'm going to end up building down here, is what I'm thinking. Like, right in here. Um, definitely going to have to clear out a lot. But, um, now we can go here. We can craft up, uh, let's just craft it up five for now. Let's craft up one of you. So we crafted you. Torch. What is this? Hot drink. So you need flowers, fire flower, and empty bottles to make hot drink. Okay. Interesting. Um, I'm going to get rid of these trees here. And I think we're going to end up building our house right here. And then building all the other little shelters for all of our other companions that we've came across so far. To just get them to move in so they're right near us. Alright, let's get rid of this tree. I should probably see about making a... Uh, making a uh, stone tools to be able to mine stuff a little quicker. Okay. I do like these trees. Oh, snap. Okay. That guy jumps. These, these smaller trees don't leave stumps, which is very nice. Alright, let's see here. Let's go tab. How can I equip... Okay, I can just do that. Looks like our armor slots are over here. Shipwreckage chest, chest. Let's grab you and you. Let's place you down right here. Let's place the chest down right next to it. Um, let's open you. Let's dump uh, you in here for now. You, you. Uh, these as well, since I don't think I really need this stuff. Um, oh, we got more up top here that we don't really need. All right, let's see here. So, stone axe. Yes. St uh, stone pick as well we made. Um, what do we need for the wooden gear? Okay, so just wooden stuff. Ooh, wooden staff. So it looks like we got magic. Bones we haven't discovered yet. We can make a leaf gun, but I do believe this uses leaves. If I uh, remember correctly, I've seen from uh, other videos. Uh, sawmill, furnace, iron anvil. Okay. Um, definitely need a quite a bit more stone, but let's make some uh, some armor right now. How much does this give? Two armor, not really worth making, so I'll craft both of those. And we'll equip both of these. Um, I could make a wooden bow. Five range, two crit. Slow speed, no knockback. This has seven melee, one crit. Very fast speed, no knockback. This is 12 magic damage. This seems like the way to go. Okay, something like this then. Auto saving, cool. Um, I'm gonna actually keep this on my hotbar just in case. Um, we'll replace both of these. Throw you over there, you over there. Throw those in there. So we should be able to chop stuff down a little quicker now. But actually, how do I... So see there. Warm Scarf, okay. Tinker's Table. I guess the real question is, is how do we... Maybe maybe it's just, it's literally just like Terraria and you grab the wood to place it down? No? Oh, you know what? I bet you we need a special table. Probably the sawmill would be my guess. And we need more stone for that. So let's come down here and grab some more stone. Oh yeah, lots of stone from that. Looks like we got a doubloon as well. Oh yeah, it definitely takes a lot less. Let's grab you. Ooh, very nice. Two shots them. Very nice indeed. Um, the reason I'm doing this is because I want to try and get... Um, Enough stuff to be able to make the houses for our, um, basically the people we've already discovered. 
get them near us. Um, I should go and try and get some more stone, right? Probably have enough wood at the moment. Um, let's grab this guy. Okay. And as you guys saw the map earlier, the map is massive, so there's a lot to explore here. Um, I, I can't remember, but I believe this, this might be done by a solo developer. I'm not 100% sure. But it's very, uh, oh, look at that. There's a sawmill. We don't even have to craft it. Okay, cool. Yeah, this is where we make the floors, the walls, stool, table, door, chest, bed. Okay, cool. So, yeah, we'll grab you. Um, I'm going to grab all of this wooden floor as well. Okay. Because then instead of crafting it, we can just use this wooden floor. Okay. Not bad. I do like the um, the the way this is compared to uh, Terraria, because Terraria has um, I, I'm not a huge fan of like the side scroller, um, like platformers. I'd rather prefer something kind of like this, where it's like overhead, kind of like a Stardew Valley esque type of uh, type of viewing platform. What do we got down here? Oh. Why, hello. Doesn't look like we got any bad guys either, which is very nice. Okay. I mean, I might as well grab this stone and stuff. There's bones in here too, which could be super useful. Open you. Looks like we got some doubloons. Oh, we got an accessory. Increase maximum HP and MP by 20. And some bones. Super useful. Okay. And it's, okay, it's a flat 20. That's very nice. Okay. Grab some of the bones as well. Sorry, it is a little dark. Um. Oh. And I'm out of MP. Okay. Oh. Got a bad goblin or something here? Ogre? Not sure. Oh, that guy attacked back. Okay. Probably should have made like a wooden sword or something too, but that's okay. Okay, this is the desert. Definitely don't want to go down there. Okay. Grab that. Grab a torch over our head just to kind of see where we're going. I could actually cut, take down all these walls. I think that's what I'm going to end up doing. Okay. Okay. Not bad. Okay, looks like we got some doubloons, some cactus. Okay, not too shabby. Let's see, can we take these down? Oh, we got a bow guy now. Okay, it's not, um... I thought it was going to be more of like a, um... Homing missile? It is definitely not like a homing missile. Alright, let's come back over here. Let's mine up some more of these walls and the floor to move it. It's weird that we are using the pickaxe to mine the walls when uh, we should be using the axe, you'd think. <clears throat> I would love to find uh, better um, stuff to make better tools. Um, we could make the leaf bow. I think it, we should probably make a bow. Um, just because we burn through the MP very quickly. Like, we only get, like, I think three or four shots off before we can't, um, use it anymore. And we gotta wait for the regen, which is not ideal. Okay. I think I'm just gonna make boxes for their homes, put a bed in it. Maybe they're, um, 
special uh, tables or whatever. Or crafting tables, whatever like they need. Like the blacksmith have like the uh, have like the um, smithing uh, table in it and whatnot. Okay. Not bad. Get this stuff gone. It is a very nice uh, nice game though. I do like the uh, the pixel look. Um, Definitely, um, I can see me sinking a good chunk of hours into this game, um, when it's fully released. Um, I definitely will probably play this up until, like, I mean, I'm sure you guys will see a few videos of this on the channel, um, up until it's released, whenever that may be. Um, and I do plan on getting into more, um, I do have, like, more games like this that I do plan on playing. Well, such as, uh, like I've mentioned before, Coral Island. Um, I do want to do a playthrough of Stardew Valley. Um, I have Enshrouded as well to play um, this one. There's Core Keeper that we need to continue on since we've done a few episodes of that. And uh, same with Graveyard Keeper and such as well. Um, let's head on back to our home. Oh, you can actually put them out. Interesting. Okay. Let's head on back. I mean, we haven't explored a whole lot, but we've explored a good little bit. Let's walk up over this way, I guess. Okay. Follow the road, see where the road leads us. Just in a circle. Okay, that's all, that's all right. To areas we have yet to explore, which is super nice. As I can see on the mini-map. I wish the map was maybe a little bigger. Up in the corner there. But other than that, I'd say it's definitely pretty good. Oh, it looks like we got like a lake here. Some sort. All right. Let's see. I believe we are up here. Coming right on up through here. And our humble home. Here we go. All right, let's toss in. Let's see. You, you, let's, see. let's equip you down here, I guess. Uh, throw you in there. You, you, equip you up here. Throw you and you in here. All right, it does look like health regens as well. So what do we need for these guys? The guy needs minimum of, of nine tiles and a light source surrounded by walls. Furniture requirement, a bed it looks like. Oh no, just the work the working table. Okay. Um, so let's craft you here. One, two, three, four, five. Um six, seven. And then we'll do like something like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do like a five by five. Okay, something like this, and then we'll grab the um, tiles in the door. Place uh, tiles down here. Okay, not bad. Boom, and then we'll grab the door and we'll place the door down here. Um, and then I shall come out here. I do like that the doors open automatically for you. Very nice, very nice. Um, let's grab you. And then we'll just move you down over here. Um, crafting table, boom. Boom. And then I will, let's see, let's do uh, C. Um, oh, nope, let's come up here, grab you. Um, let's throw a light source down, like I guess. Right here is fine. Come out here. I'll place down a light source here and here. And then we will do V and move in. Boom. Now we got the guide here. Sweet. Um, I definitely want the bard, I think. And also potentially the blacksmith. Um, what do we got going on here? Build a house, survive, and these things, you know. 
Item guide. Oh, okay. So you can, there's an item guide. That's cool. It tells you what you can craft with it. Very nice. Okay, bush wall and whatnot. Cool. Um, sweet. So we got you here. Um, maybe we'll just continue on. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're going to need to finally put down the sawmill. And start crafting up some of these guys. Okay, game saving. Cool. Craft, craft, craft. Um, throw those up there. We'll do one, two, one, two. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so something like this then. Okay, perfect. Then we'll throw down this stuff. Maybe we might be able to get the uh, blacksmith moved in here. That'll be pretty sweet. And then we could potentially look at making better tools rather than just having the stone ones. Oh no, we ran out. Um, let's grab you. Let's grab you. Oh, I actually need one more. Um, you, uh, you, um, I need rope, so I'm not going to build that yet. Then we'll grab the door, throw the door down here, come out, come in, bam, we'll craft a bunch of rope, craft, craft, um, Frozen arrow, okay. Fly swatter, melee damage, seven. Crit three, very fast, no knockback. All right, well, first off, let's make a furnace. Let's make an anvil. Cauldron, we need copper for. Tinker's table, we need wasteland wood. Leather boots increase max speed. Sure. Oh, it's an accessory. Um, leaf gun we could make. Or we can make a regular bow. Five range. Six range. Three crit. Two crit. Slow speed. No knockback. Fast speed. No knockback. Bone sword. Oh, bone sword looks really good. Can we make this? Oh, we can. Bone bow as well. With nine range. I'm going to craft the bone sword. Okay, so now we got a lot of stuff going on here. So let's throw you in here to replace you. I have something like this for now. This is an accessory, so we'll equip you for max increased speed. Um, oh, I wanted to build... Oh, let's come out here and do this. Um, let's try this guy out. Oh, yeah, baby. Feels really good. Oh, yeah. Um, I want to make a couple of beds. Okay, I guess I'm only making one bed. And I'm assuming that we can sleep through the night here. Spawn point. Oh, it just resets your spawn point. Okay. Um, transfer all of this. Let's pick you up. Pick you up. And then we'll do the U. V. So I believe we need light source. So I'll throw a light source in here with one out here. And then I'll come up here. I'll grab you and you. I'll place the furnace down and the anvil. And now the furnace we can craft. Copper, glass bottles, glass, spider ingot, gold ingot, and iron ingot. Sweet. And this we can craft all the better tools and armor, which is very nice. 13 range for that. Iron staff. Casts two magic fairies. Consumes 9 MP. Gold, spider. So yeah, it looks like you got a little 
a decent amount of selection of stuff to uh, that you can go with. Um, let's see, chests. I think I'm gonna plop down right outside here, and then I'll just dump um, basically everything I don't really need right now. The one thing that is a bummer is that you cannot craft from chests in this game. A little bit of a bummer, but hey, it is what it is. Uh, we'll throw that in there. Coal we don't really need. Flowers we don't need. Ooh, I do need more torches. So let's craft... Um... Actually, you can. You can craft from chests. Okay, that's cool. I, d I thought you couldn't. So that's actually super nice. Uh, we got 20 torches. Sawmill I'll place down outside for the moment. Um, wooden walls I'll take. Stone I don't really need on me. And I'll do something like this. One, two, three, four. Get some of this going. Ooh, that was a good amount. I was thinking of potentially making like our own house right here in the middle. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, that's a good amount. And then we can do something else here as well. Okay, not bad. I'm going to travel up here since we haven't traveled up here yet. See what we got going on. Oh, looks like we got another chest here. That's cool. Um, oh, Slime Voodoo Dow summons the Slime King. So this is where the bosses kind of come in. That um, is similar to um, the similar to Terraria. Okay. So this looks like it's potentially the edge of the map. Yep, edge of the map. Okay, cool. Not bad, not bad. So we can run around and grab, uh, chop down some more trees, but I'm not going to do that at the moment. Um, I think I'm going to actually end the episode off here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, if so, make sure you guys tap that like button down below. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, every little bit counts, and I do greatly appreciate it. We'll pick back up, and um, yeah, we'll pick back up right here, and we'll grab this chest and keep exploring. Uh, looks like there's a couple chests here. But yeah, thank you guys all for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out!